Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus. This is episode 5 of 5 in our series on dreams. Dreams are so cool, and we don't even know that much about them. If you haven't watched all of our episodes, go back and check those out as well. Make sure you subscribe so you get all five of the videos each week. You don't have to worry about it. And today we're going to talk about the future of dreams, though. We've already talked about where they come from and sometimes how they're bad and even how to lucid dream. But this is about what's happening with dreams now and what, what are we going to do with our dreams as technology advances? A big one that I want to know is can we record our dreams? I don't know if you saw that mediocre movie, Final Fantasy Spirits Within. She recorded her dreams in that movie, and I thought that was super neat. It would be really cool to be able to go back and kind of watch your dreams and, and learn from them that way. But we're not quite there yet. Scientists in Kyoto, Japan, had subjects fall asleep and be woken up about 200 times. Talk about annoying. Researchers asked what they were dreaming about, and then they matched that during the brain waves that they were seeing during that sleeping session. From that information, they were able to say, okay, you know, this person was dreaming about a horse and this person was dreaming about a castle. So they created an algorithm that said, okay, when these brain waves pop up, that's horse brain waves, this is castle brain waves. And then they could kind of recreate the dreams using this algorithm, using like a little short movie. It's, of course, pretty rudimentary to do it that way, and it's only right about 60% of the time, but it's still right 60% of the time just by looking at your brain waves. But, I mean, that's crazy, right? UC Berkeley is kicking butt in dream recording as well. They had folks who watched movie trailers, and during the watching while they were awake, they recorded their brain activity associated with the images in the movie trailers. And then from that, they could kind of use that brain activity information to recreate people's dreams. Of course, neither of those things, I don't know if you noticed, are actually recording anything. But they're getting really good at guessing what people are dreaming about. They're not actually recording what's really happening because we can't read thoughts. We can't like put it in a DVD player and just read it or a little video file. We just can't do that yet. However, to go the opposite way, you can plug dreams into people, sort of. Like the, another movie about dreams, Inception. Very popular. The movie Inception was entirely about dreams, although a big part of it, mutual dreaming or shared dreaming, we can't do yet for the exact reasons we just discussed about recording dreams. We can't read brains to, you know, put them both in the same shared dream. However, even though there is no actual science to back what I am about to talk about, this is really interesting. There are people that talk about having shared dreams, and they claim to have talked to other people that were having that shared dream with them, as if these two people independently came together later and they were like, were you dreaming about horses and castles last night? Because I was totally dreaming. Oh my God, I was dreaming about horses and castles too, that big tower, it was crazy. Imagine everybody's kind of had this experience where you meet somebody who's had a similar dream to you, but they're saying these are the same thing. They've dreamed together. There's an interesting theory that uh, has to do with quantum information. It's a little off track from dreams, but it's really awesome. So quantum entanglement is when you take two particles that entangle at a distance. So I copy some quantum information onto this particle, and then it touches this particle through something we don't understand, quantum entanglement. These two particles move exactly the same, even if they're far apart. The human brain can maybe naturally use quantum entanglement already. It can change quantum states using our neurons. This is the penrose hameroff ork or model of how neurons work, essentially. Basically, the brain manipulates quantum particles, and that helps create our consciousness. So if it's manipulating quantum particles, it's not a huge stretch to say that the brain might be able to quantumly entangle with a nearby brain, right? If I can quantumly entangle with somebody, why can't I share a dream with them? That's basically what they're trying to say. Again, no science backing this up, but it is pretty cool. And as long as we're talking about really strange things that aren't necessarily about human dreams, but maybe about machine dreams, the Google Deep Dream machine is really, really, really cool. 
and produces some incredible imagery. Make sure you go and you look this up. I mean, you could Google it, I guess. It is their machine. And it uses their machine to interpret images. So like, here's a dog photo. The machine looks at these images and it learns from past images and it builds this database and it creates this crazy database of how images work almost. It's sort of like teaching the machine to recognize images better. And as it does that, it creates these beautiful images. Then they're thinking, if they point these at brainwaves, Maybe they can copy the Japanese study and get better than 60% and recreate dream states using these machines. We're not that far off, y'all. We're pretty close. Right now, the only way we can really hack into dreams, the only way we can inception somebody, is through dream incorporation. Dream incorporation is the idea that if I maybe tickle you while you're asleep, but you don't wake up, your dream self will feel that and be tickled, or it will change how you dream. If you smell chocolate chip cookies, maybe you'll dream about them without waking up. There was a study with pain where they found inducing the pins and needles that you get during uh, the healing of burn scars, and that made it into the dream of the participant, which is strange. So if you're thirsty in real life, you obviously can't satiate that in a dream, so you have to wake up in order to solve that problem. But that's really the only way at this point that we can hack into people's dreams is by influencing their physical selves and that translates somehow into this dream state, which is still pretty incredible, especially since we don't know a lot about it. But I'm telling you that I'm, I'm worried that it goes the other way, so I, you know, I never pee in my dreams. I don't know if you've ever found yourself in a bathroom when you're dreaming, I don't, I just leave the bathroom. I don't, I don't dream pee. This, you know, you, you can never, never be too careful. In the end, though, your dreams are your own. You can live your dream lucidly. You can learn from your dreams. You can write them down and, and relive them while you wake up and try and pull whatever information you can out of them. Or, you know what? You do you. Just enjoy your dreams while you're asleep. It's fine. But dreams seem to be universal. They seem to be something that helps us process information and emotion. And they're really a benefit and part of living on this planet. Thanks for watching Test 2 Plus, everybody. It was another really incredible series. Every time we do these, I learn something, and I hope you do too. If you did learn something, why don't you tell your friends? Share this video with your friends or share a video from this series if you watched them all. If you haven't watched them all, you can check them out here. You can find the links in the description as well. Please subscribe again. Like I said, for more Test Tube Plus, we'll be back again tomorrow. But if you can't wait, check out last week's series on psychedelic drugs. It's sort of like dreaming, but you're not dreaming. It's crazy. Thanks again. And next week, we are going to talk about weather and all things weather. Not weather with an H, weather with a, the, other, the other weather, the outside one. Thanks for watching.